Hey, what's up guys? Dan H. And welcome to the project. Today is supposed to be the day that we're going to paint up these 1998 Grand Cherokee Limited Ultra Star wheels that came on the 5.9. Um, it's still raining. It's still miserable. It's very humid and I don't think it's going to make a good paint video today. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these up, clean the backs, do a little bit of a touch up paint, let it dry. Then I'm going to take them over to Gabe's when I get it inspected and we're going to put these, uh, use Dunlop tires on these and we're going to get these on the general another day and then paint up the surface. All right. So these are the beautiful ultra star wheels that came on the 5.9 limited ZJs in 1998. Now these are pretty rare. They're very unique. And I think the only other vehicle that came with these rims was the 2001 XJ 60th anniversary edition. Um, those are very rare also. And I think they had the ultra stars too. So I got these Ultra Stars from Rob on my ZJ part score video, and I uh, was definitely not expecting to get these. Um, he asked me if I wanted them. Uh, how much? 75 bucks? <laughs> yeah, you got it. Um, so this is a great find. They do have some curb rash, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grind these down. Uh, I'm going to wrap them with uh, some Dunlop all-terrain radials. And these are 23570ATs. Yeah. Uh 16 inch wheels, of course. Um, yeah. So the plan is I'm gonna put these tires on these wheels, keep this stockish, and I'm gonna take the general limited wheels and I'm gonna clean up these somehow eventually. And if I ever get a uh, lift kit on this general. These wheels will go on bigger tires, and I'll have a completed, lifted General Grievous ZJ. All right. All right, first thing I'm going to do, remove the old valves. Ugh. Then I'm going to uh, sand down this curb rash. Now I'm going to use a variety of sandpaper files and uh, dremels to get this done. Alright, that takes care of some of the pretty nasty curb rash on the first wheel. And I'm uh, going to go around all four of these lips on all the rims and uh, make them pretty again. Alright guys, I'm going to scrub the dickens out of this rim with... Uh, the rough part of a sponge, uh, I got a bucket of soapy water, it's just car wash soap, and I'm using the tire to support the rim so I don't scratch it more on the driveway. So let's do this. I'm just scrubbing the uh, mounting surface of the rim. Get off any old bead seal that might be gummed up with sand and junk and whatnot. And also, shout out to Kyle from the Bearded Jeeper. <laughs> I'm really trying to stay bearded, man. So itchy. Stay bearded, stay jeeping. <laughs> Go check out Kyle's videos. He's got an awesome YouTube channel. Great off-road content. Very cinematic. Shout out to Kyle. Doug from d and &E in the Garage. Shout out to you too, brother. Another great beard. I am jealous of you guys. JTM Off-Road. Shout out to you, man. Your avalanche is looking sick. I love it. Six inches of rough country lift. 
That's a beautiful tires. Way to go. Bug! From It's a Bug's Life. <laughs> you don't have a beard, but you're still awesome. Shout out to you. All right, so I just scraped off gum from the inside of this rim. <laughs> That's gross. Hey, whose gum is this? Whoa! I think that's probably the most unlikely spot to find gum uh, on a Jeep. <laughs> Keep on cleaning. All right, guys, uh, just to recap, let's see. I scrubbed down all these Ultra Stars after I deburred all the road rash with my Dremel tool. Uh, the really bad spots I used a small file to get to. Um, I also scraped down all the curb rash on the rims with some uh, 400 grit sandpaper. Kind of did a little wet sand thing after I was cleaning them. Um, again, I'm going over this with the rubbing alcohol. Clean off any oils or junk. It's, it's still raining and humid and it is not ideal for painting. But I just want to get a little touch up in here around where the um, the valve stem goes and where the uh, lug nuts go. And also, I'm going to spray in here a little bit just so I don't have to worry about it uh, getting overspray on the front um, when this is all clean and the wheels are on. So I'm going to do the back parts now and not worry about it later. Um, you still see a little bit of this area when the wheels are on and you're looking at the vehicle so I want to make sure this doesn't look like crap under here too so I'm gonna do the back part and then dust in some nice spray paint in those areas and let's uh, let's see if it sticks all right the paint I have chosen is uh, rust-oleum universal it is a dark steel color it's good for wood metal plastic masonry um, I use this stuff on everything. rust is a great product, and uh, I'm not sponsored by them in any way. It just works. The only problem I have with these cans is sometimes if the valve clogs up with these stupid, silly trigger things, they're really hard to clean out because it's so long. But uh, that's the only problems I have with this kind of paint. <laughs> well, we're going to hope it doesn't clog up today, so let's do it. All right, now I'm just gonna dust some paint in those hard to reach areas. And the valve stem area. And I'm just gonna lightly cover the areas where I wet sanded and hit with the Dremel. Just to get a base. Just to get a base? Just to get a base. Cool. Now, in no way, shape, or form is this a completed paint job. This is just to do a little touch up before I put the wheels on. So I gotta set this aside over here, let it dry. <laughs> I can't believe it. Soon as I finish painting, the sun comes out. <laughs> and it's bright. I'm gonna move the rims to the sun in a minute. As soon as I'm done firing off this hose. All right, so while I got my bucket of soapy water out, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrub up the uh, white riding side of these tires because uh, I think you guys voted about 53 to 47% that you liked seeing the white riding on the tires instead of the all black. So that's what we're gonna do. Just giving you what you want. <laughs> That's what we do on the project. We make a vote, 
and we stick to what the people want. So, um, yeah, I'm cleaning up these Dunlop tires. I got these on Let Go from Miguel the Tire Guy. Miguel hooked me up with these, gave me a great price. They still got a lot of meat on them, so these are going to be my temporary General Grievous tires until I do a lift and put those big tires on uh, the other limited wheels. So I'm going to scrub this up real nice, clean the sidewall, clean up the writing, and then uh, we'll get them over to Gabe's. Alright guys, here's a little trick I picked up over the years. Now what are you going to do? You can't get all this water out of these tires. Uh, you can splash a few out here and there, but you're not going to get it all. So I got this uh, siphon pump and I'm just going to dip the intake side into the tire water and I'm going to start squirting it out here. There we go. Bye bye water. Alright guys, we got four Ultra Stars, four tires, and a four-year-old. <laughs> Time to go see Gabe. Yay! Yeah! Hi! Hi to Gabe's. I got too many Jeeps, man. <laughs> this one was free. Ten day inspection. She is up. Twenty day inspection. <laughs> Check out that right there. That is a rotted out spring bucket for this old PJ. <laughs> they actually both rotted out. Uh, Gabe's doing the driver's side, he just finished this passenger side, and uh, yeah, we're going to watch this uh, while those guys do their thing on the general, and yeah, look at that rock man. Yeah, yeah, it looks good right there. Nice. Nah, this is too bright for me to watch. Alright, staring at welding ain't too good for you. <laughs> so we're moving back to the general. Alright. <laughs> nice. Nice new valve stems. We got the white walls out. Getting them done. Come on, come on, pop! Yeah! So how messed up are these rims? Are they crooked no, at all? Or? Pretty good. Good rims? Yeah. yeah. Nice. You never know when you buy used. Someone's used crap. Good. Number two. Yeah, good. Sweet. You could really use them on eight, but they're down to zero. So. Okay, perfect. Make your Jeep rims great again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get it. Oh, thanks, man. All right, it's a historic day in General Grievous history. Here goes the inspection. And I botched it. <laughs> I botched that one. Oh, that's a botched job. 
<laughs> oh well. <laughs> we'll fix it next year. All right, so we got our Jeep full of new wheels. We got the tires mounted and balanced. Our Ultra Stars and our Dumb Lops. Yeah. So we're gonna head on home. Oh, successful inspection with a botch sticker. So hit the road. Look at this, Joe. Ooh. Look what Uncle Gabe did. Yeah. Yeah. These are going on here. Are you going to do it yourself? Yeah, I just have to finish painting them. Do another coat, and then they're going on the general. Gotcha. Careful. Are you new, Daddy? Ice cream man. Ice cream man. Yeah. Bye-bye. Okay, Mommy. Okay, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. Okay, Daddy. Those are nice. Yeah. It's going to look so much nicer than the gold. All right, guys, I don't know what the heck happened. This morning in the last three days, it was miserable raining. All of a sudden, I go to Gabe's and the sun's out. So I'll take it. And I'm gonna finish painting these now. So I'm just gonna tape off my new valve stems. Daddy! Wipe them down again with Daddy. alcohol. What, Joe? Tape, Daddy! Tape, yeah. And then we're gonna paint these rims. Okay. I'm going to the back. Okay. Can you help me? 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 Can you <laughs> Good job, Joe. Good job. Good job, Joe, Joe. Yes. Thank you. All right, guys. I'm going to use the old index card trick. Just going to stuff these index cards in as best as I can. And uh, this will mask off the tires for me so I don't get any paint on my Dunlops. All right, guys, got my index cards in. Um, these are way too flimsy. I thought they'd be thicker, more rigid, so they're kind of flopping down. Um, I hope they withstand the spray, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, here we go. Get the center caps. Uh. Alright guys, I'm just going to hit it all with a little bit more clear while it's still in the sun. This stuff is left over from the, uh, the hood and the fender and the bumper and the tailgate. <laughs> Alright. All right, guys, there's the center caps, and we got all four Ultra Star rims painted up real nice, clear coated. Got the Dunlop tires with the white facing outward, just like you guys wanted. So that's it. Gonna let these cure up, gonna put them in the sun, 
than in the garage overnight. Check this out guys. We have an Italian wall lizard in New York and it made a home in my azalea bushes about three years ago. That one. And he's still here. Hey Lucky. You eat all those mosquitoes for me, all right, big guy? <laughs> you have a good home here. Thanks for stopping by. <sighs> all right, guys, that's a wrap for my rim restoration video. Uh, hope you liked it. Um, I hope you like the Ultra Stars. I know they're kind of a rare Jeep rim, so I hope you don't mind that I changed the color. Uh, I went a little darker than factory gray, but I kept that silver, um, and it's metallic, so I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I love these uh, Dunlops, they came out great. Now, these aren't going to be the permanent rims for General Grievous. What I'm thinking about doing is taking those limited rims off. Uh, I'm going to powder coat them, paint them a different color. Um, we'll have a vote. I, I definitely appreciate you guys voting. It really comes in handy when uh, I need to know what you guys want to see. So, i uh, going to get those wheels powder coated. i um, going to get some big tires on the Generals, maybe something with the uh, name General in the title, so that would be cool. Uh, so put some Generals on the General, and then uh, put a lift on that thing. So that would be cool, that's in the future. For now I'm gonna rock these street tires. Um, they're just about the same as the tires that are on there now. They're just a little bit wider, and uh, I think they're the same diameter. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap. Uh, the paint, I had a problem with one of the paint cans. I think I didn't shake it up enough. I was in a rush to, to put down the paint before uh, the sunset, and um, I think one of the nozzles clogged with some metallic flake, so that can is shot. I'm gonna return it back to Home Depot, um, save your receipts, and uh, that's it. Everything else went pretty smoothly. Um, thank you, Gabe. Thank you for the mounting and balancing, and the inspection. So the general is on the road, and it's legal. So uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project.